In this video, we're gonna talk about how to create 10 weeks worth of content in just five days. So you can stop spending all of your time creating content and actually focus on money making activities and client work and the real bones of your business. For years, I wrote my blog posts and newsletters on the day that they went live. I would just frantically think of something to write, quickly send it, I wouldn't even spell check, I would just wanna send something or anything to my email list. Now, why did I leave things like content creation to the last minute like that? Well, it was because I was unorganized and not in control of my time. I changed my way of creating content and I now have blog posts and newsletters scheduled 10 weeks ahead of time. The key to getting ahead and scheduling blog content weeks in advance is a little thing that I like to call batch weeks. Now a batch week is an entire week dedicated to one task. So you focus on this one thing and nothing else. That's what I'm gonna teach you what to do right now. I'm gonna teach you how to use batch weeks to create blog posts and other types of content really fast. So keep watching and I'll show you how. Step one is to write out all the steps of your content creation process. So the first thing you would do is take out a pen and paper and set a timer for 12 minutes because you're going to use those 12 minutes to write out all of your steps. Right, so write out every task that you think you need to do for your blog posts or your videos or podcasts, whatever it is, whatever form of content that you create for your business. Write out every task that you need to complete for this piece of content to be ready to publish. So I'm talking about even the tiny things like spell checking. Now the third step here is to write out the tasks that you need to do after the blog post or video, whatever it is, is published. So that could be share it on Instagram, share it in your Facebook group, on Twitter, um, things like this. You don't want to be missing out on promoting your content and just focusing on creating. You want to focus on both of those things. Now, step four is when you're done to go through the list and cross out duplicates and tasks that aren't necessary. Step five is to make sure your tasks are in order. And step six, I want you to highlight the tasks that you think you could outsource to a virtual assistant. Even if you don't currently have one or you don't intend to outsource to a VA yet, you definitely will in the future. And when you do, I want you to know exactly what tasks that you want to give them. So that's why I want you to do step six, even if you don't have a VA or you don't think that you're gonna have one anytime soon. Step two is to add your batch week tasks to your calendar or project management app. Now, if you don't already use a project management app, I highly recommend it. A project management app is a secure space online where you can create and manage multiple projects. You can create to-dos, give them due dates, create calendars, and much more. Now, I recommend using the one that I'm showing you in this video, which is Asana. And it's awesome because it's free. Now, before you move on to the next steps, it'll be really helpful if you download my batch week blueprint and copy the steps from there if you're a bit stuck on what steps that you need in your content creation process. So the link is below this video, go ahead and download it there. So step one, I want you to sign up for a free Asana account. And it's really important that you sign up with your business email address and not your personal address, because this will give you access to the features that you see me using in Asana in this video. Step two, create a project and call it Content Batch Week. Step three, choose the list format and not the board format. Four, paste all of your tasks into this project. And step five, I want you to then go ahead and organize the tasks into phases by typing phase one, colon, phase two, colon, etc. When you add a colon next, next to a task in Asana, just for anyone who isn't familiar with how Asana works, it immediately becomes a header. And so when you do this and you use headers in your projects, it breaks up your tasks into phases that are easier for you to view, like you can see now in this video. Now, step six, click the first task, hold shift, 
Then click the last task to highlight all tasks. Then I want you to click assigned and assign the tasks to yourself. And if there are any tasks that you want to assign to your virtual assistant, now is the time for you to do that too. Moving on to step seven, I want you to now assign due dates to your tasks. The due dates that you choose depend on how many blog posts you want to create in a week and how long it will take you. So for example, without video, I know I can write about three and a half blog posts a day. So I can write 10 posts in three days. Knowing that I'd spend one day of my batch week planning content, three days writing content, and one day editing, scheduling, and adding opt-in freebies, and then scheduling promotion for each post. To add due dates to your tasks in Asana, click the first task in a phase, click shift and click the last task, then click due date. Step eight, make these tasks repeat tasks so they'll show up on your Asana calendar every 10 weeks. To do this, highlight all the tasks in phase one, select due date, click set to repeat, click repeats after completion, choose weekly, then select every 10 weeks on Monday. And then what I want you to do is repeat this for each phase in your project. And once you've done that, you are done. Every 10 weeks, these content creation tasks will appear on your Asana calendar. And as you complete them, simply click the tick next to the task to mark it as done. Now, if you want to learn how to use Asana to not only manage your content weeks, but manage your client projects, then I have a free course for you. It's called Project Management for Freelancers. To sign up for the course totally free of charge, click the link below this video, head over to that page, sign up, and you'll get lesson one delivered to your inbox today. As always, if you liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe so you never miss another one.